on CR back here and I'm uh, bringing you just as I said I would my final stats on Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, the last time I played this game as I checked was exactly one month ago. Today is October 17th so exactly one month ago um, I played this game and uh, all these stats that you're gonna see are as of one month ago so I have not been on the game since. Uh, nothing's changed and uh, <clears throat> what you see is what you get. So anyways, first starting off here with my stats, uh, as you see I have a 5 star 50 and I stayed at the uh, first prestige I guess you could call it, or the default prestige um, for the fact that uh, I got reset at the 10th prestige because they thought I was hacking with my time plate, I don't know, it was a really long message, it was the time when everybody was going into the uh, private matches and hacking and such. Um, ended with the uh, Astro gaming tag when I got my Astros during the beginning of Black Ops and I put the tag up there. and. That's my picture, and it has been for a while. I've just switched the colors on it a little bit, but other than that, that's what I'm ending with. Um, ended up with 523,000 COD points, and uh, once again, I have everything unlocked and everything along those lines, so uh, not too bad, I guess. I'll move over to my classes, and I haven't touched these in forever. Uh, FAMAS, G11, AUG, PSG1, and of course, EL96. And of course, don't have any of these unlocked because I got reset. So anyways, move over to my actual stats now. Ending with a little bit over 10 days played, not too bad. Um, 1,300 wins, 1,100 losses, ain't bad win. Playing by yourself the majority of the time, or in a 2-3 to three man party and ground war constantly. Um, 50 win streak, I don't really remember being on the win streak, but uh, I more than likely got it with in a party of Grizz or something along those lines and didn't really realize it carrying over day to day. Um, lifetime earnings, a little under 2 million, and the wager match earnings, a little under 20,000. Not too bad. Uh, let's move over to my last 10 games. Uh, once again, I guess you could say not too bad. Uh, I got a 23, a 20, a little under a 10. Lowest in there that I see right now is a, right about a 6. It's not too bad. And I ended up going 35 and 1, I think, my last game a month ago, or 35 and 0, oh, something. I know it wasn't a 70 and 2, so. Anyways, enough said. I'm going to scroll through these here real quick because I'm not going to go through every single one and talk about it. If you actually want to see them, you can uh, pause the video and stop and look at it yourself. But that's pretty much all those little stats. And we'll move over to weapons. Uh, ended up with a little under 41,000 kills and 12,000 deaths, which ends up being a 3.33 kill death ratio. That is the highest kill death ratio I've had in a game before. On second accounts on Call of Duty 4, I have had a 3.03, uh, .03, but I've never had it above that, or 3.04, or 3.07, things around there. And uh, that was basically the days of playing Search all the time. So 3.33 is what I'm ending with in this game, and I've always said that I'm going to end on a 3.33, and it just happened so that uh, the last time I played this game, I ended up uh, boosting it up, as you can tell from my last 10 games there, and um, got it up to a 3.33, and that's what I kept it at. I had it at 3.13, and then I got it up to 3.33. So that's what it's staying at, that's what it'll be at until I come back to this game for some odd reason. Favorite weapon, still the M16, has been since day one. Have the most kills with that for sure. <clears throat> kill death ratio, ending up with a 5.37 M60 kill death ratio and a 4.9 PSG1. Definitely not too shabby. Uh, if anybody can't get above a 1 kill death ratio in this game, that's pretty bad because every single gun I've used in this game, besides the... Let's see, besides the RPG, the ASP, the law, and I've never even got a kill or a death with the China Lake while using it, I have above a 1. So I even have over a 1, which is a 1.02 with the ballistic knife and using the ballistic knife. So it's really not hard to keep a 1, and uh, it's pretty tough if you can. Uh, main guns, I guess, i uh, like to show you. MPL was always fun, Caparis. 2.56 with the 74U, 2.3, M16, blah, blah. Moving on, accuracy don't matter. Total kills, uh, I got the FAMAS way up. I was up by over 3,000 at some point with the M16. And, of course, it's pretty much the same setup as you'll see with um, almost anybody you go to on this game. Uh, the, M60, the M60 I had over a 15 kill death ratio at one time when there was the uh, you could keep voting nuke town. And I'm happy with ending it up with the uh, right around a 5 kill death ratio though. It's good to end with I guess. Headshots, uh, once again don't really matter. Times killed by, of course, the main three scrub guns in this game. Uh, equipment and grenade kills, blah blah. Usage, of course, concussions. I'm surprised I've thrown more frags than I've thrown stuns. That's actually really surprising for me. And, uh, 
matches, blah, 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 nothing too big. My last game, once again, 917. <clears throat> kill streaks used, uh, 3,800 spy plans. I usually run low, low kill streaks, as you can see here. Uh, care package, and then you get up to the high ones with the 308 chopper gunners, 200 blackbirds. I never really ran that because everybody I'm in the party with usually runs it. A little under 200 attack dogs. Moving over, kills with, of course, the two highest or the two most powerful. Uh, Napalm, which I ran almost every setup with, 915. Uh, RCXD, trying to get clips with, got a little over 300, 131 with the gunship. Rounding it out at the bottom is the uh, Grim Reaper. Killed by, of course, the RC car the most. I've actually been killed by uh, the SAM turret once, as you see on the bottom there. It's pretty good stuff. Contracts, uh, I've done 758 and I expired 100. So you see XP awarded down there, 289,000. Not too bad. But that's pretty much all the stats I guess I could give you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions or anything along those lines, I will not probably be back in this game, but I will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Um, other than that, I will catch you guys next time.